there's some um, annuals that you can plant that that do well that have, in, that have, that do yeah, well in the winter. That have winter that have winter feed winter feed capability, but yeah, I mean our big blue the stem big blue it the just Indian disappears. Just doesn't. Yeah, it just dies. Really, the only thing that holds up in the winter is the fescue. The fescue. That's the only thing that. And what's interesting it's still though, green. what's interesting though that I've talked to Greg about is like, okay, well, if you've got, if you've got just fescue available in the winter time, like, aren't you going to have protein intake problems with your cattle? As in, they're going to be limited on protein and getting too much carbohydrate, which is n- never a good thing. And so, and he was like, well, the way that you would get that you get protein in their diet essentially is like there is protein in the fescue. It's not just like pure carbohydrate, but it's it's too low. If they were on a pure fescue diet. They, they'd be stacking their manure paths would be stacking up really high and it's, it's just not good for performance for them to not have any protein. And so, um, obviously like if you're unrolling hay and you've got some l- legumes in that hay, um, that's gonna, that's gonna help with, with their protein. But then the other thing is like, if you have properly stockpiled fescue, it can insulate plants that are not necessarily as cold tolerant. So he's, Greg says that like I've seen in March, I've pulled back some fe- some like really good quality stockpile fescue, pulled it back from a, pulled the, pulled it back with snow and ice on top of it. And there'll be some, still some clover, like alive underneath the, underneath the fescue. I bet the, the that bottom on docks has clover still in it. Yeah. So it's, it's one of those things where like, if you've got, if you're managing height properly in the fall, when you're, when you're building that stockpile, if you can get a really good, and sometimes you can't because you don't get rain properly, but if you can get a really good, tall, like stand of fescue with like lots of leaf material, it's going to, it's going to help insulate some other plants. And you might, you might, you might be able to sort of have these little like refugees of, of plants that might not necessarily be cold tolerant on their own that it's sort of protecting. So I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. But.